Hello, I'm Zanslands, and welcome to the virtual world of the 2021 Projects video. In this video, I'm going to talk about what I plan to work on this year, including the plans for Mindblocks beta, and what projects I plan to pick back up now that Flash is, uh, gone. But, uh, first, let's rewind back to 2020 and see what happened with my plans from last year. Did I release 10 game ports? Did I meet my goals with Mindblocks beta? Did I eat cauliflower? Yes, in fact, I did eat cauliflower. It goes great with cheese if you like that sort of thing. Uh, anyway, 2020, the year where I moved my games from Flash to Hacks. Also, maybe you could tell why this video took so long. Anyway, here were the goals from last year. Go, whoa, hey, Learn Dog. Are you here to learn about my projects? Oh, well, good. To start, my first goal was to recreate seven more of my games in the Hacks programming language because all of my Flash games could no longer run online now that Flash has ended. And similarly, I had another goal of releasing 10 of those games publicly. So, how did I do? Well, on April 5th, I actually reached out to my game developer friend, Ghost ID, to take over the porting process. Hey guys, I'm Ghost ID, and yes, I'm actually Canadian. And it's true, he does live in Canada, the world's second largest country in total area, and home to up to a million moose. Oh yeah, the video. And so, with our powers combined, he ported all of the games that I needed, and, including the ports that I did in 2018, all 11 of those games were released on Zanslands.com to preserve them beyond the end of Flash. I even surpassed that goal by one game. Um, I mean, maybe only six out of the goal of seven games were ported during the year, but I really do consider that goal achieved, because only unfinished games were left, which was the main reason for that goal in the first place. Alright, so my next goal from last year was to start immediately on the port of Mindblocks, and to keep you all updated on the progress. I did start immediately, I mean the project was started February 2nd, which was like a couple days after the video released, and by the end of 2020, I pushed 235 code commits, wrote 21,000 lines of code, and got Mindblocks beta over 63% complete featuring world loading, world generation, mining and placing blocks, lighting, and even a small inventory. With a total of 7 Friday updates in 2020, it gained its first 10,000 plays. So yeah, even though Mindblocks beta wasn't actually finished by the end of Flash, the progress it had throughout the year makes me really happy and confident about the future of the game. I think it's going to be a great successor of Mindblocks Classic. I actually assumed beta wouldn't be done by the end of the year, so I guess my goal of starting it immediately and posting updates was enough to check this plan off. After that, I wanted to release Mindblocks 1.30 as the potentially final Flash version of the game. On Friday, November 13th, Mindblocks 1.30 released! It was called the Hardcore Update because I added Hardcore Mode, and it had 84 other features and changes, much of which you could find in the updates video and change log. Uh, it released alongside the first public demo of Mindblocks Beta, so that was a very exciting day. My next goal was to finally finish designing and launching my Patreon account. But I didn't do that, mostly for two reasons. Uh, first, it's because it requires a lot of planning and preparation that I just couldn't really afford spending time on. And secondly, I would like to be able to give you guys a really worthwhile experience through Patreon, so I want to be able to have enough free time and enough perks for the patronage, and the past year, I just wouldn't have been able to provide that. I just mostly needed to focus. And the last goal was to launch an early version of Redobot, a programming tool for traders. And the reason was basically because it was the Chinese Zodiac Year of the Rat, and that's the mascot of Redobot. But it didn't fit into the schedule anywhere, so nothing happened. And those were the results of last year's goals. Four out of six, not bad. But that's actually not all that I did. I did take a really interesting musical detour in the middle of the year. In April and June, I made a couple of music pieces for Puffballs United's The Henry Stickman Collection, which is available now on Steam. I continued this musical tangent by releasing two full versions of music I wrote, and then following it all up with a small album release, featuring yet another brand new track, Mirror Road. And I didn't stop there, I released it alongside a full 3D music video coded using my own game framework. Yeah. 
Other than that detour, I worked a bunch on a cancelled video series called Flash to Hacks, but I realized I would rather be spending my time making games. So I'm actually reusing those assets for the video you're watching now, so in the end it didn't really go to waste. For a full recap of what I did last year, do check out my yearly recap post for 2020. Before we move on, it's come to my attention that this YouTube channel went from 13,000 to 15,000 subscribers. We finally surpassed the number of Nitrogenius bases that Influenza has. Yes! This means we can now test out Flesh's Cure. After setting loose the sentient flaming box and discovering renowned scientist wizard seahorse Flesh Hopalogilock, we devised a method to mimic and preserve wildlife to save vulnerable species. Simple, right? But in order to maintain the ultimate goal of longevity and prosperity for all living beings, Flesh devised a new plan. It isn't risky, but it is contrived. Each of my subscribers is assigned a pair of colored pool noodles. It is important that you put them on your arms before arriving to a location to establish a strong connection to your inner nitrogenous base. You will link up as RNA strands in a very specific order and will be given Flesh's latest shape-shifting formula. This will allow you to become the world's largest, smartest, single influenza in the world. World. And your collective intelligence will allow us to finally have civil discourse with the flu. Hi, Influenza. So, I guess we're not all that different now, are we? Uh, we just wanted to reach out to you and finally ask. How are you? What are your goals in life? And it will admit that, indeed, this whole time it meant no harm by infecting us. In fact, it simply wanted to bring us closer to it so it could learn how to become a strong and independent society of its own. And with that, we granted its wish. And it calls all of its sisters and cousins to enter Flesh's perfect world for them. The utopia of once diseases, now benign, happy civilizations. And we, as a subscriber base, can finally focus on what is most important. Drinking juice pouches together! I'm supposed to be doing something. Oh yeah, 2021! Here is the list of my 2021 projects. I want it to be a relatively simple year, focusing mostly on porting my remaining games to hacks and just making casual progress in general. I definitely miss being able to tread new ground, and I think by the end of this year I'll finally be able to do that again. Uh, I spent the last three and a half years planning on and porting my games, so it'll be nice to finally pass that hurdle. So my first goal of 2021 was actually already accomplished. It was to release Zan's Lanza's Collector's Bundle. My collector's bundle is a collection of 11 of my games, playable on desktop for the first time. And you can track your progress on each of the games through the launcher and see a huge list of all 100 achievements. And the prize for getting all 100 achievements is to land on a leaderboard, and the first people to do so get an automatic shoutout from my Twitter. My next plan of the year is regarding Mindblocks Beta. As a refresher, Mindblocks Beta is the HTML5 recreation of the original Mindblocks Flash game. As always, it's totally free, runs right in your browser, and has lemon trees. Uh, it's been getting weekly Friday updates for the past uh, half a year, and it's quickly becoming more and more like the original Mindblocks. My main goal for this year is to fully port Mindblocks down to every last lemon. The current focus is to get as many entities in as possible, like mobs, before adding saving and menus. Uh, Mindblocks is a ridiculously large game with a ton of things to port, so it takes a lot of time. You can follow its development on social media or in the official Mindblocks Discord. And speaking of Mindblocks, my next goal is about my second block-based survival game, Mindblocks 2. Mindblocks 2 is my personal take on the genre rather than a fan game directly based on Minecraft, but it was in heavy alpha development for 8 years and only ever had a few updates. Uh, so I'd like to finally open up that code again, port it to hacks, and release a little update by the end of the year. Still on the topic of porting, uh, another one of my unfinished Flash games is Spike Tower. It's a mobile arcade game, and my goal for this year is to fully port it to my Hacks game engine too. Porting it to Hacks is actually something I wanted to do from the very start, and funny enough, I already did. I already ported it to Hacks with OpenFL, but the graphics were broken and blurry and it was super slow. But since that time, I created a game engine, and porting Spike Tower to it would mean it would be even way better than the original. So that would be really motivating for me to finish it. Alright, while I of course have a handful of other games I plan to port, like Finland for example, I will save all of those for next year. However, I do want to list one stretch goal, and as tradition, the stretch goal is Redobot. We've obviously seen some big interest in trading in cryptocurrencies this past year, with the GameStop stocks and the rise of NFTs and Dogecoin. 
Whether or not the popularity is here to stay, I think it would be great to finish the first beta version of Redobot for those who want to understand the analytical world of markets better. Well, those are my main projects that I want to tackle this year. I already find myself experimenting with other projects as the year progresses, like making my bundle, doing the March Piano Challenge, and uh, making wetclap.com. But hey, I'm having fun, so hopefully there's more of that to come. So thanks so much for watching this extremely late 2021 video. If you want to see a more timely video, watch last year's by clicking the video on the left. And if you're from the future, watch next year's by clicking the video on the right. Also, big thank you to Cynical Canadian, Ghost Study, and Pi for their donations last year. Alright, that's it. Enjoy the rest of your year. See you soon. Bye!